Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Yuri Amadin. I'm a BJJ Brown Belt. And I would like uh, to make a testimony for uh, the seminar that I just did. I mean, not, not that I did that. I joined with Professor James Woodfield Jones, who is a third degree black belt from Joe Moreira. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I think it's, it's a very great seminar in terms of giving value to me and to my clients. And the reason why it's very valuable because I, I've been training for a while, I've been training since 98. And with his seminar, the thing is like, we, we practitioner of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we train all the time, we spar all the time. And the thing was for me, uh, as I've grown to a higher belt, oftentimes I need to travel around the world and then I had to, I had to spar with people like maybe double my weight, like my size, like over 100 kilos, you know, that, uh, 120 kilos. And they're not, and they, they, they know what they're doing. And oftentimes I had to, when my guard is passed and I have to uh, deal with the weight, uh, I was like really struggling, you know, to, to survive, you know, to handle that weight. And for a long time, I was trying to find the right formula on how to survive that and get back to the game but it was really hard and the thing is with uh, with what james did james dissect all of that you know for me to get the answer and how to deal with the weight and how to more of a not really adding too many techniques but using the techniques that we already know at the deeper level so that when we play regardless whether it's a guard retention passing uh escapes uh submission it's more effortless but what, what i mean by that is james have a way to explain and transfer his knowledge where i can rely more on my tactile ability and reading the uh, the opponent's energy and then from there uh the escapes the guard pass the uh, let's say the effort of uh, pulling out the submissions in many different positions just come out naturally uh, now the the thing is uh the uh, the well the what james uh taught us is that when you look at brazilian jiu-jitsu as in the original art which is just for fighting you know sometimes fighting goes more than sometimes 10 minutes 20 minutes you know and and with with the tournaments it's condensed into five minutes so everything will be should be in a hurry but uh in reality when you're fighting with no time limit uh sometimes you cannot hurry things you know and and i think that's not jiu-jitsu anymore because this jiu-jitsu is uh, both sports and self-defense like uh, how do you how when 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 you're glued to the person you are in tactile when the person create a space and try to bat punch you or elbow you or hurt you, that's that's the opportunity to escape and to do your thing. Also, when you're uh, in in a bad position and the person is just crushing you, and you can just glue your glue your frame or glue your body so that you can maneuver yourself into a safe position and then just wait and when they try to pull off the submission and do something else that's the that's the time where you can escape so i i think it i really recommend anyone to learn from james if you really want uh to have a game that's efficient that uh, that can conserve energy where you can like really roll for a long time for both sports and 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 self-defense i i recommend you uh you seek him out you know and you can get uh, get in touch with him on instagram i think sustainable jiu-jitsu that's the that's the instagram and there's another one called professor james woodfield jones just message him and uh, get in touch with him plus he's a super nice guy and uh yeah you'll benefit a lot from it uh i guarantee it